I'm going to be playing Mappy Land. Mappy Land was developed by Toes in 1986 and released by Taxon for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was later released for the Wii U on the Nintendo Virtual Console. The object of the game is to collect all of the numbered items and reach the end of the level. There are eight different worlds that cycle four times with different layouts, giving you 32 maps. There's useful pickups that can be used as distractions, like the cat toy, the jar, the fish, and the coin. Each area has unique tools you can utilize, such as the cannon, bowling balls, the zip line, grapes, or punching bags. Some levels require a special key item to complete the round, like a flower or a trumpet. <coughs> Mappy can move left and right, and can bounce on a trampoline up to three times in a row before it breaks. He is also invincible to enemies while airborne. It can be tough getting off and on sometimes, and there are some questionable fall deaths. The A button drops a decoy, and the B button jumps to pick up items. And it can be used to jump over the cats, but you need to be pixel perfect. The sheer variety in this game keeps everything interesting the whole way through, and the music is awesome. The graphics are also pretty good, although it's hard to distinguish stuff sometimes. This may have been intentional, but who knows. There's levels within levels, which makes this game feel bigger than it is. And there's a fun bonus game at the end of each cycle, where you need to collect all the rings or whatever before the music stops. There's even a hidden bonus stage that I hadn't discovered for over 20 years. Overall, Mappy Land is a must-play for anyone revisiting the retro playgrounds, despite a few minor gripes. I was gonna call this a hidden gem, but I'm not sure it's all that hidden. What do you think? Start a dialogue in the comment section, and visit the website GameTestPlay.com.